Congratulations to the Swarm. And here we are. It is the very last award of the evening, and it's a special one. To present this award, I'd like to welcome to the stage our last guest presenter and winner of the Excellence in TV Award last year, Creative Diversity Network's Chief Executive, Deborah Williams. The Excellence in TV Award is designed to recognise an outstanding individual who has made an incredible contribution to the content history in their career to date and ultimately made it a better place to work. This year's winner is no exception. He is a Pulitzer Prize nominated journalist and a multi-award winning producer who has become a luminary in the world of documentaries and factual series that have traveled the world. He launched his company, 1895 Films, more than a decade ago. And through this venture, he is now helping support the next generation of talent via a media and journalist internship. He has made a huge contribution to the world of factual television and to improving the understanding of numerous projects that have been in the center of his productions. And so, please put your hands together for this year's Excellence in TV Award winner, 1895 Films Chief Creative Officer, Tom Jennings. Wow, thank you so very much. Thank you, Television Business International and everyone at MIP for this tremendous honor. Twelve years ago in Los Angeles, my dear friend, consultant Peter Hamilton, told me some of the best advice I'd ever heard. He said, you must stop thinking of yourself as an American producer. You must think like an international producer. He said, you must go to MIPCOM. And I said, what is MIPCOM? And he told me, so I bought a ticket. I came here knowing almost no one. At the time, Michael Cascio was vice president of National Geographic Channel, and we'd done many shows for him. And he said, if you go to MIPCOM, you must try and meet someone named Hamish Mercura who was head of the international division at the time. And I was told instantly that Hamish's schedule was booked, as many schedules are often booked well in advance here. But I was on a quest. I, my first career was being an investigative journalist, and so I found a way to meet Hamish. I waited until he finished one meeting and I jumped in before the next one started. And it worked. And Hamish said to me, uh, once he found out who I was and what I had done, I had done a film for National Geographic about the assassination of John Kennedy, where we used no narration, no interviews. We used only the archive. Hamish whipped off his famous black sunglasses and said, can you make one of those for me? And that was 12 years ago. Since that day, we've made 39 films in that style. We've won a Peabody Award and an Emmy for our work. Hamish and other network executives who have believed in our film have always held us to a very high standard, and we appreciate that. Um, they make sure that we have a dedication to accuracy, precision, journalistic integrity, and the willingness to dig deeper into stories than anyone has before. We'd like to say at 1895 Films that every one of our projects is always clean to the frame. Sadly, Hamish passed earlier this year, and he is terribly missed. Um, if not for that unscheduled meeting, 
that I forced my way into 12 years ago, my company's journey would not have taken such a magical turn. So I accept this award on behalf of our staff who make miracles happen every day in their pursuit of excellence. And to Peter, Michael, and especially Hamish, you've all given me wisdom and strength to believe in excellence and to pursue a dream. And for that, I am forever grateful to you. Thank you all very much. Thank you.